I take them at their word. Always take tyrants at their word. That's what we've learned over the last century. China, Russia, Japan, and the United States right now joining North, uh, South Korea in extremely careful preparations for the worst case scenario. This is not business as usual. The Chinese are deploying, the Russians have deployed, the Japanese are meeting with the, the South Koreans. The South Koreans are exercising their fleet, live fire exercise to match the North Koreans. The U.S. has a strike group in the area meeting with the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Forces. There's another strike group available, the Ronald Reagan. This is very bad, very, very bad. Well, I think a lot of people, I, I, I have some friends of mine who are not Trump fans, and, and they look at this and say, see, this is the idiot Trump, and this is what we feared. This is a situation of Trump's making. It's escalating because of Trump. And I think in these kinds of matters, John, like you, that perspective is often more welcome so that we can under, better understand the situation. This is not a situation that President Trump created, is it? No, it, the can's been kicked for so many years, it's difficult to say who started this. Certainly Clinton time, Bush time, Obama time, they did not confront a predator state with nuclear weapons and ambitions to dominate in North Asia. China, watch China. President, President, Obama, uh, President Obama did not watch China very carefully. He, he turned away from China. He did not confront the Chinese problem with North Korea. President Trump is confronting it. it. It's not of his making, but he's confronting it, and he's talking to President Xi all the time. The most important detail here, the one to watch, is the Chinese. They are deploying major military assets to the area of the Yalu River. Why? Because if North Korea collapses, they do not want the peninsula reunited. They do not want a U.S. ally on their border. And they will move effectively to put their own guy in, their own new guy into Pyongyang. Watch the Chinese, not the Americans, not the Japanese. Watch the Chinese. 